AFK fight caves are back in action. With the absolute unit relic, Jad maxes less than a 50, and my prayer recharges itself the entire caves. I turn auto retaliate on, pray mage, click every 5 minutes to not log out, and spawn outside with a fire cape. I'm gonna slowly do these as I edit videos in order to reach the 30 fight caves task. But let's move on. We're chasing rank 1 right now, and one of the best ways to fly at points quickly is to finish maxing. We're currently at 2.2k total. Let's make some progress. Just got 90 runecrafting. I'm getting like 2.5 to 3 mil XP an hour right now. Nine more levels. I think we'll just sesh it out all in one sitting. Maybe some order some KFC in between. Just want to get it done because even though it is fast with last recall and stuff, I still just hate runecrafting. And I just maxed out Rudy 2D's X2 runies. We're on 94 runecrafting right now. That is pretty sick for us because if I show you last recall, Rudy 2D's blah, 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 blah. 80% chance to get double runes stacks with normal runecrafting. So it's just going to give me more XP. 99 runecrafting is upcoming now 1.6k xp away obviously having so much fun doing this love doing runecrafting honestly it's not that bad even with a recall i'm just crying like a little girl 10k xp drop 99 runecrafting 125 league points we now should be over 37,000 once this oh oh i can't do mass i cannot do mass we're at 36,995 uh still gonna carry on maxing but i'm gonna go get some diaries out of the way first i think just checked a palm tree that I did earlier, which is a medium and an elite task in the Karamja Diary. Two birds with one stone. Call me Mr. Efficiency. There was a 25 point toss to enter the Tai Buono Wayo Dara Hardwood Grove. 25 points just like that. I just need to cut down a teak and mahogany tree as well for this diary that I'm working on. And that's another 25 league points for completing the Karamja Medium Diary. Let's move on to the harder one. That diary put me up to 37,045 points. And this should be the Karamja Hard Diary done, which is another 50 league points. Let's move on to the Elite now. We're at 37,095, very close to 37,100. And that is the Karamja Elite Diary done. 125 league points, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 37,220, and we're going to get some fat XP drops. Okay, let's get all these XP lamps. I think I'm going to put them all in smithing. Uh, three lamps right here. We already got the one from the Easy Diary ages ago. I think this is the big one. Let's put it into smithing. I think it's going to give us like a one point. Okay, 800k XP drop. Um, this will give us like a what 160k XP drop and this one maybe like a 80k XP drop so over almost a mil putting us from 87 to almost 90 smithing just like that Let's move on to more diaries I'm played in the Ardone diary right now and look how many pets I have man. What is that seven? Yeah, seven pets nightmare heron uh, Orphan kraken mole Grador, and the supreme and that is the hand in the sand completed We needed to do that for the Ardone diary. We need to do another quest too actually that is Tower of Life completed, which is an easy task as well for another 5 points. We're on 37,225. But that's the easy Ardone Diary done for 5 points. Um, I can do the medium once my berries are done, or my strawberries are done growing. Can't do the hard because I don't have a poison ivy seed yet, but yeah. Okay, just going to use these 7,000 plus steel bars that I've got from mining and everything into uh, steel dart tips. And it should be a decent bit of XP from that too. I think it's like over 4 mil smithing XP. So it'll get us very close to 99, I think. This is all my steel bars done, and as you can see, we almost have 100k steel dart tips. Should be 99, even maybe 25 mil flutch, and I'm not too sure. We're at 97 smithing though, 500k off 98, and then another level. Pretty close. I do think I'm just going to use the rest of my XP lamps on agility now, because I am close to smithing, and I do want to max today. Going to build a bunch of fossils that we had from earlier and see how much XP it gets us. Three lamps, probably could have gotten more, but I was a little bit stupid. 332k, that's like 100k agility XP. Does add up. Oh, that was 56k actually, what the hell? Maybe it scales upwards. How much is this? 80k. Okay, it does scale upwards. Damn. That's like 200k XP. Okay, that's the easy wilderness diary done. Okay, and that is the wilderness medium diary done for another 25 points. Let's move on to the hard. Ooh, we're gonna do skim. And that's the second demi boss down. Alright, let's do this. No prayer venonatus. Damn, did I not bring my thralls? Oh, it's because I have no prayer. That's right. That makes sense. Okay, that's been an stun. 50 points. Rune pickaxe down. What a troll. I thought it would be a dragon pickaxe. 50 league points, though. 37,360. Oh my god. Damn. I don't know. Whether... Well, he can probably eat a 43, huh? I probably have to hit eat there. Actually, no. He can't hit a 43 through uh, absolute unit. I just started shredding him as my, lower... my HP went lower. And he's killing himself, too. These are some cheese-ass tactics to wildy bosses. Should be dead there. 
And that is Callisto done for 50 points. Also part of the Wilderness Elite task. Oh, Rune 2 H4. No D pick. Dude, even in the stage where you can't attack Vedion, the absolute unit is attacking him back. That's sick. I wonder if he'll kill him. Like, I have no idea how this is going to work. Obviously, I'm going to kill his Hellhound still, but... Is it about to kill himself? I feel like it is. This final hit might just drop him. Oh, let's see. Okay. Let's see if he just drops right now. Okay, hit me a 20. And we have to do it again. All right, I'll do it again, bro. Oh my god, I just want to hit that. I'm very low food. This is going to be a questionable one. I won't lie to you, boys. A very questionable one. Oh, he's low HP. Surely we got this. Even if he hits me... Oh, he's dead. Okay, nice. Ogre Coffin Key. Okay, I just completed Vedion, which is another 50 League Points. 37, 460. What else do I have to do for this diary now? And that is the Wilderness Elite Diaries done as well. 125 League Points. 37,585. Okay, and we have five little lamps. Let's put this on to agility. 800k XP drop. Uh, 240k XP drop. I think there's like 160 something, 120k, and this would be like a 40k if I remember correctly. Yep. Puts me up to 95 agility from 93. Okay, maybe we've got some tile markers that will work. We'll have to see. We will have to see. 93k XP drop. This will be very quick agility XP if I can get it done. Alright, I actually got a completion. I'm feeling comfortable now. I'm feeling comfortable we can get the sub 8, maybe the sub 630 eventually. And honestly, if we could just get the Ring of Endurance for an extra 125 points, that'd be great. First KC Ring of Endurance? Any chance? Nope, we got some Howl Marks though. <laughs> okay, and we should just about get this sub 8, getting a little bit more confident with my runs now. We're getting this with like, what, 2 seconds left to spare? Literally 4 seconds left to spare. Nice little sub 8. That'll be at 50 points, I think, for a hard toss. Let's see if we can get a Ring of Endurance as well. No ring of endurance, unfortunately, but I'm getting more confident with my run. That is a sub eight minute for a 50 point toss right there. 37,635. Nice. Damn, I would have got the 630 if I didn't mess up. This is going to be around seven minutes. Six minutes 56 on that one. First sub seven minutes. Very Definitely seeing progression on it. I can definitely get the 630. Just frustrating I didn't get it right then and there. Did make some mistakes though, like a lot of mistakes, so that's fine. No ring of endurance either. Ring of endurance, ring of endurance, ring of endurance. Damn it. 94 thieving though. Damn it, bro. I wouldn't have made it anyway. Damn, I had it, bro! Oh my god! Alright, unfortunately, we only have, really have one more run until we hit 99 agility. I really want to get the speed run down. I've got, like, all the times that I need. I just keep choking, man. I just keep choking. I'm literally gonna rip my hair out, bro. This is the last run I needed for 99 agility. And I was on I was on world record time, bro. I was Usain Bolt up into this bitch. I was definitely gonna get the 630, and I fucked it up, and I didn't even get a normal completion, bro. I don't even know if this gives me a speed of 99. Okay, no, it does. That's 99 agility, 125 league points. Puts me up to 37,760. It would be another 125 if I wasn't a cat meet random and did the 630 that I managed to achieve last time. I think I'm going to send maybe one or two more runs, see if I can get it done. But I don't want to just spend more time losing my mind here, so it is what it is. I do need to buy every single hallowed tool, so I guess I'll do that quick first. Give me another 50 league points for obtaining every hallowed tool. We really need that 630, man. I'm really disappointed with myself. Uh, if you check the scoreboards, if you add up all my times, definitely under it. But, unfortunately, the best time together was only a 6.56. Oh, I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. <sighs> I'm leaving after this, bro. Fuck. I was going to do Pyramid Plunder, but I got so lazy, bro. The XP rates are so bad compared to RD Knights, especially when you never fail even at not 99 got a really good setup with it too with the inventory viewer and uh what's it called uh resizable mode as i say that i just fucked it up but <laughs> we're chilling now uh just gonna camp here till 99 thieving honestly won't take too long i don't think it's like three mil xp an hour i'm only like five mil xp off it 
and successfully achieved 99 thieving, another 125 league points. With the Talk to a lot of my viewers during that 99 thieving grind, so shout out to all of you guys. But yeah, with the relic, it makes it so you never th uh, fail th thieving already nights. Now, I could have done pyramid plunder, there's a lot of tasks to do with that, but I don't know, it's 7 a.m. I've been out for hours and I have to get 25 more thieving eventually, so I'll do that later. Just want to bang it out quick and easy out the way. A couple more skills to go. I know it's only like seconds worth of clips for you guys, but it is hours worth of time for me. Got to finish up 99 smithing, fletching, construction and herb lore, and then we'll have ourselves a map cape. I think I am gonna be a couple mil off 99 herb lore, so I'm just gonna plant some seeds, and it should give me like hundreds of herbs, not even exaggerating. Also doing some fletching at the same time. But yeah, greedy gathering and the farming relic, hopefully I get hundreds of herbs. Okay, we're just making more planks right now for the 99 construction grind. Good old last recall crafting cape makes it really, really easy. Not sure how many planks we need. Do have the plank stretcher or plank something relic, which saves like 50% of our planks. So it should be all good to get this 99 construction fairly quickly. Made like 2,000 planks for now. Well, exactly 2,000 planks for now, plus one. Uh, we're already at 84 construction, so I just want to see where it gets us first because of this. Uh, we could get really lucky with this plank maker or plank saver relic. Damn, I just ran out of planks at almost 98 construction. I have a bunch of teaks. Hopefully, that'll be enough to get me to 99. I have like 500. Is this 99 construction? It is. Boom, 125 league points. Reach level 99 construction. Got a bit of planks left over. Just had to make a couple more. Uh, let's go finish the rest of these levels. 2257 total now. 38,060 points. I think I have enough dart tips for 200 mil fletching, but here we go. 99 smithing. Craftsman did up very, very nice, quick and easy. 125 league points like that. 38,185 points. Now we just have to do fletching and herb lore. Grazio, thank you, bro. A couple of seconds for you guys, a couple of thousands of years for me. Don't ask why I'm not doing anything else while I fletch. I am extremely sleep deprived, so just allow it. Reach level 99 fletching, 125 points. 38,310. Now all we need to do is finish off this herb lore. Hopefully we have the herbs for it. Finishing up my last skill here and I just got base level 90s, which is 125 league points. Didn't even know that was coming up to be honest. 38,435 points. When we max, we should be fairly close to uh, 39k if not over. And I just completed a master task, base level 95, just got 95 herb lore. So glad we got those five extra stages renowned. Honestly, been saving those up for quite some time now. Wonder what I'm going to spend it on. But yeah, four more herb lore levels. We're really scraping the bottom of the barrels for some supplies, but we should be able to get it done. That puts us at 36,685 points for now. Pretty much used every single potion making thing possible in my bank. This is what the tab's looking like. We've got some guam leaves. I really can't be fucked. A little bit more of this or that, but not enough to get me to 99. I'm at, what, 97? With 100k XP left, luckily I can go make myself some sand fuse, which I'm going to need anyway for the nightmare, and finish off these two levels. Now this is a method that everybody used on Trailblazer League as well, getting the Nail Beast Nails from the Nail Beast. To Nail Beast Nails and both the Super Restore both count as a secondary, I guess, when making the sand fuse serums. So you can literally use one dose potions to make four dose sand fuse serums. It worked exactly the same in Trailblazer League, and that's how everyone managed to get their sand fuse, and some pretty good herbal XP out of it. Uh, not going to waste any of these Nail Beast Nails due to my Relic now being at level 3. 100% of my secondaries are saved, so I'm very happy with that. Okay, 680 should work perfectly. And this is how we're going to get ourselves 99 herb lore, 450 XP, and we can just spam it as well. Hopefully we don't misclick a restore like we just did there. It is what it is. We're going to lose some in the process. We only lose some on the first dose. Oh, we just lost another one, but yeah. Quick, rapid 450 XP drops per one. I think it's 2k per actual sand few created, so we're just going to create a bunch of these and get to 99 herb lore. Okay, just about done with all the Super Restore ones. As you can see, they're now Mixture Step ones, 640 of them. We did lose quite a few Super Restore ones to the cause, but it does not matter as we make Sanfi Serum 4s out of this. I'll show you guys in just a second if you guys have never seen this before. It was very, very used in the last Trailblazer League and very, very helpful. Very, very helpful. So now we can't really misclick those Super Restores anymore because we're going to bring all of these out. Uh, I think I used the Snake Weed next. Maybe it's the Nail Beast. Maybe it's the Nail Beast. Oh, no, it's this. Okay, so yeah, I spam click like this. Can no longer drink a restore as it's just a use option, which is very nice. Gives us some more X, uh, XP drops, it's like 500 XP drop. I got to 98 herb lore off the unicorn horn dust. Now I'm just going to use these and then I'll finish it off with the nail beast nails. And it should get us to a 99 herb lore. Made them all into mixture twos now so we can use the nail beast nails on them. And now is the real glitch. This is the unlimited Sanfi serum glitch. I have no idea how this happens. But, you know, shout out Jack's mechanics. It was the thing in the last league and they seem to be okay with it. So, absolutely not going to stop myself from doing it again. Let's go. Unlimited Sanfi Serums, and as you can see, we're around uh, 716k XP off. Hopefully, this is enough to get me the level. My math is not the greatest, but I think we should be chilling. Okay, wow, it turns out my mathematics does suck, dude. When am I going to start getting this shit right, bro? I swear I put a lot of effort in. I am uh, 350k XP off, and 
we are out of sand fuse to make, but luckily I can just make more stores into one doses and do the whole process again. Dude, I am horrendous at math. I'm sorry, I'm 50k off. One sec. Alright, I finally figured it out. Let's go get this bread. And it is time. Let's finish this up. 99, 99 herb lore, 125 league points. Oh, 250 league points are reaching a max total as well, putting me up over 39,060 points. I thought I'd get the points from actually buying the max cape, but nah, we got it right then and there. Over 39,000 points. Let's get this max cape. Here we go. Paid 2.27 mil for it. Obviously, we got to make this into an infernal max cape. Who do you think we are? Yes, combine this item. Infernal max cape. 2.27 mil down the drain, but come on, look at us. Let me turn my tile indicators off real quick. There we go. Infernal max cape achieved. Obviously, I'm going to buy the normal max cape just for its functionality too. So we're not going to have too much GP after this, but it is worth it. Guys, I don't know that I can promise you guys daily uploads anymore. We've done 12 in a row, I think, and we maxed on this league in under two weeks compared to the month it took us last league. But my sleep over the past two weeks has been pretty lacking, to say the least. I will still be grinding out this league till the end. It will just be harder for me to make a video every day as the content gets a little bit more scarce. The love you guys have been showing is incredible and I'm super grateful. But if you haven't already, subscribing to the channel is the best way to support me as well as make sure you never miss a video. And it really does go a long way for my channel, making sure it gets recommended and stuff. If you want to go the extra mile, leave a like too and comment down below whatever the fuck you want. It helps out a bunch too. Cheers, boys and girls. I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for the support.